Are you suffering from repeated bladder infections and looking for natural solutions? Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to take you through five natural ways to help you prevent recurrent bladder infections. Now, if you want all my videos in one place, don't forget to grab my app, my Pelvic app. You can get the link down below, and you can grab these videos and access them in a convenient place all at once. So let's get started. We're going to go through these tips one at a time. You may be familiar with some of them, and that's okay to have a reminder, but there might be some new things too. And if there's something that you that's worked for you, please feel welcome to put it in the comments below because that'll help other viewers as well. Now, the first tip is to drink water. Now, you probably know that drinking water helps with a bladder infection and helps prevent bladder infections. Now, the reason for that is that you can see here, the bacteria that can invade the bladder and can multiply have little leg-like projections and they can stick to the walls of the bladder. So when they can stick to the walls of the bladder, they get a hold, then they can multiply and that's what can cause a bladder infection. So the idea is to be drinking water, but not too much. And if you've got a health problem that prevents you drinking too much water, just get some medical advice on that before you start increasing your water intake. Now, water intake should be about six ounces, six ounce cups. So I've got, here we go. And you wanna be drinking about six to eight of these a day. So that's your six ounce or 240 mils. Okay, so that's that much. And I would suggest that rather than drinking it all at once, that you actually sip it. So if you're sipping your water throughout the day, the bladder's constantly filling, and then it will um, empty well. If you suddenly drink, then the bladder will rapidly expand, and you'll get that pain when the bladder rapidly contracts as well. So just drinking steadily throughout the day is a really good um, solution. Now, the second thing you can do is to drink cranberry juice, or conversely, take cranberry tablets. Now, this has actually been established in the research to prevent bladder infections. And it was previously thought that the cranberry juice made the bladder, or they made the urine more acidic. It's actually the case that cranberry juice has a chemical in it. It, and that chemical stops the little bacteria from getting their legs in the bladder wall and sticking. You'd be taking a, a six ounce cup, so one six ounce glass, so that, that much of your cranberry juice. So there's the cranberry juice there. I've got this one here because it's a light cranberry juice. Now the reason for that is this one has no added sugar. So you can get cranberry juice without added sugar. Um, and add added preservatives, and that's the one to look for. So not a syrupy kind, just a plain juice. So that's your one, your one cup that you could have daily to prevent your bladder infections, and you can also take that in tablet form as well. Now, my next tip is to empty your bladder fully. Now, if you're suffering from prolapse problems or tight pelvic floor muscles, or even just when you empty regularly, you might be surprised at how much urine is actually left in the bladder. So to empty your bladder properly and to make sure all the urine comes out so it doesn't sit there and congregate with bacteria, what you can do is first of all, make sure that you sit on the toilet seat, never hover above it. So sit because when you sit down to empty and you lean forward, then the pelvic floor muscles can relax and your bladder can empty well. And the other thing is to take your time. I think we're all guilty of trying to rush through, our, through bladder emptying, aren't we, from time to time. So really take your time to fully empty. If you think you're having problems emptying, you can do a technique called a double void. And you can refer to that in my video above on how to double void and how to completely empty your bladder if you're not sure. Now, the fourth thing to think about is intimacy and intimate health. So you've probably heard about honeymoon cystitis when E. coli bacteria can actually get into the bladder and we can prevent that and there's ways of preventing that by emptying your bladder immediately before and after any intimacy. And the other thing that you can also do too is to use a water-based lubricant. Now, if you look on the ingredients of your lubricant bottle, you can see that it's either a water-based, so water would be the first ingredient. If oil or petroleum is the first ingredient, then the bacteria can actually congregate and, and stick in that oil. And you'll know that it's really quite hard to wash off. So a water-based lubricant will wash off readily, whereas an oil-based lubricant will adhere to your skin and the bacteria can stay in the oil-based lubricant. The other thing is to make sure that when you wash, always use just water, not soap, and not perfumes in the intimate area. The final thing is to think about using something like vaginal estrogen. So while this isn't a natural tip, it's really well worth knowing for women with menopause. So during menopause, estrogen decreases. Now when this happens, 
the vaginal tissues aren't as well nourished and it can make you much more predisposed to a bladder infection. There's a breakdown in the, the tissues or the lining of the bladder and also too, the opening of the bladder becomes much wider, as you can see here. Now, you can use vaginal estrogen either in a uh, pessary form or a cream form, and you get that obviously from your doctor. And what that does is actually nourishes the tissues in this area and can help you then close down that opening into the urethra so the space isn't quite so open, as you can see here, and also to improve the, the, lining, of the, the lining of the bladder so it's much less susceptible to infection. So, I think you can see there's quite a number of things you can do to actually help yourself prevent a repeat bladder infection. We've talked about drinking more water. We've talked about cranberry in the form of juice or tablets. We've talked about your intimate health. We've also talked about emptying your bladder and emptying your bladder really well. And finally, we talked about vaginal estrogen and perhaps considering using that and talking with your doctor about that as well. So I really hope that these five tips help you prevent urinary tract infections and help you escape that ongoing problem of having to have repeat antibiotics all the time. If you've got a tip, let me know in the comments below. And also too, if you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I'd really appreciate you giving it a like in the button below because that helps other women find the video too. So thanks so much for watching today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.